talk so talk about him a little bit more because i feel like he's sort of this this figure and you know i want to imagine him in my in my in my mind as sort of like this you know super handsome maybe not the rich guy but you know definitely the man of quality that we all aspire to meet well he went against his family as well because they were not for the united unification of italy so he lost his, he, they, they wrote him off, if you will. So that's why he doesn't have any money. Um, he's not going to inherit any, and the family does have lands and all that stuff, but they were against the unification. And many people were because they were happy with whichever country was running their section of Italy, mm. or they didn't appreciate um, the king and they didn't want the king to be king over all of Italy or lots of different reasons that they were against yeah. it. And so, yeah, they write him off and because he married her and she wasn't Catholic. And this is huge, obviously, yes. back in the day. Yes. Um, I actually tell a story. My mom uh, put together her brother, three uh, children of Sicilian immigrants, only one son. My mother put her brother together with a woman who wasn't Catholic and they fell in love and they got married. She did. Um, she did become Catholic because, you know, she converted because she knew she had to. But on the day of the wedding, my mother was the maid of honor. My grandmother was tying the bow on her dress. And as she walked out into the church, the last thing her mother said to her was, I'll never forgive you for this. That was 1950. Oh, my 1950 God. in America. That was oh like, you. It, this is a mismatched marriage. 